Declan Rice has gone ahead to clear air on his move to Arsenal, all on his long anticipated move to Arsenal. Welcome to Rokani Media Football. How are you guys and where are you watching us from? Second video of the day. <coughs> Obviously, we kick started off our day with a confirmation coming in from Liverpool that McAllister is now officially a Liverpool player. I've brought you exactly what the manager Klopp has gone ahead to say about McAllister and what McAllister has said about Liverpool. He's aiming at winning more trophies. Now, here we come with what we call the Arsenal News Show. 100% Arsenal News. Arsenal have gone ahead to confirm that date they're going to play a game with Nuremberg in Germany as the game that is kicking starting off their pre-season friendly matches. And then, Saliba. Saliba. Oh my god, looks like Arsenal want to tie him down onto a contract that he's going to really also enjoy as he really does his work at Arsenal. Now, we all know that Declan Rice is wanted by very many big teams, Arsenal, Man United, Bayern Munich, and so many others. But for the English caliber, or for the English teams, teams playing the Premier League, they are wanting Declan Rice not because he's the... <coughs> biggest all is the best central midfielder alive in the premier League that they can go for but it's all about them having homegrown talent arsenal needs homegrown players united needs them that's why they're going in for him but he's not all that the most of all because if it was all about going in for the most perfect Arsenal would have gone ahead to make Moise Quesido their transfer target. But Arsenal need more English players or homegrown players to be playing at Arsenal. Why? When you look at the homegrown players that Arsenal have, Aaron Ramsdale, <coughs> Benny White, Rob Holding, um, Bukayo Saka, Martinelli, um, Edin Ketia, you go to, to Flaron Balogan, there is uh race nelson um which other english player emily smith rowe is there <coughs> um i think they are not having many so they want to elevate that number to 17 because most of the homegrown players that make up the number of arsenal are really coming in from the academy and they're supposed to be having homegrown players that level all tally to 17. so that's why arsenal are sold on an idea of getting in declan rice and on either James Madison and Mason Mount, they want to get one. So, Declan Rice yesterday after winning the league, sorry, the UEFA Conference League trophy, went ahead to speak to BT Sport and cleared air on his anticipated move to Arsenal. And he said, Look, at the moment, there is a lot of speculation at the moment out there about my future. Obviously, there is a lot of interest from clubs that's out there. But ultimately, I've still got two years left at West Ham, so I love the club. I love playing for this club. Now, Declan Rice obviously knows that he's really leaving the club. But obviously, after lifting the trophy, you have to go on and really defend the club where you are, and that is West Ham. And you being the captain of the club of West Ham, you need to come out and obviously clear the air and obviously throw in all what you really hard to say remember these players undergo what we call media training lessons you know you just see players come on the field of play but you don't know how many things happen in the background loads of stuff happens in the background as far as these players are really concerned they have to go through media lectures and that's why declan rice was able to come up with such a statement that i still have two years on my west ham contract but we all know if you wanted to stay at west ham why didn't he extend his his contract because West Ham offered him a salary of two hundred thousand pounds and he said no yet he was earning just fifty thousand pounds a week they are multiplying his salary times four and I think West Ham had an aim of really putting in a buyback clause sorry it's not a buyback clause it's a buyout clause of like 150 million pounds that if I told you want declan rice you're supposed to pay that huge amount of money so he also went ahead to say the following about his future, about, about the club, where he is and where he's anticipating to go on and really play. Next, Declan Rice said, there, there has been nothing yet. My focus is ending 
my focus is enjoying tonight and seeing what happens and let's see what happens <clears throat> if this was your last act in the West Ham shirt. If this was your last act in West Ham shirt, what a way to go. Let's wait and see who knows. So, he was asked that if this was your last act in West Ham shirt, what a way to go. Then, le then he said, let's wait and see. Let's wait and let's wait and see who knows. So, it shows you that he's 100% sold on an idea of leaving West Ham. And however much he's calling them speculations, but he knows they are not speculations. Arsenal <coughs> commenced talking to his representatives in January. And Declan Rice is 100% sold onto the move of joining a side known as known as Arsenal. And so that is what he had to say about a move of him joining the Arsenal side. And we all know that Arsenal is all over this move. Declan Rice wants to pop, wants to play for Arsenal. Even Arsenal want to sign Declan Rice. And there is a very huge admiration between Declan Rice and Mikel Ateta. Ateta believes that there is a player in Declan Rice that can really turn around the midfield situation of Arsenal. And I sometimes really believe that he's not the right player for Arsenal to sign, but all that has gone into my mind is simple. If the Ateta I know is going in for Declan Rice, then there might be something special in him. That's it. There might be something special in him, according to me, because Ateta is really a very, 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 sorry, Ateta is a very, very good manager, and if at all he's settling in for Declan Rice, there might be a reason. But to me, my strong reason is he's a home-based player. That's it. That's the reason as to why they want to go all out and really sign for Declan Rice. Now, let's leave the Declan Rice story there and let's tackle the William Saliba situation that is giving the Arsenal board sleepless nights, the Arsenal fans sleepless nights, and everyone who wishes Arsenal well because you can't lose a defender like William Saliba, guys. Saliba is the best defender in the world in his age. Because he's playing in the best league. People will say Guavadio is playing in the Bundesliga. You know? You know? The the best the, the defender I've seen that is really better than Declan Rice is Kim Inje. But Kim Inje is 26 years of age. And that is his prime. Now, if at all William Saliba is performing at that level at the age of 21, 22, he still has three years left for him to hit his prime. How is he going to be performing when he hits his prime? He's really going to be a monster of a defender, closing down very many strikers all over the world. Now, we've been told by James Olly, he's a senior football reporter for the ESPN, that William Saliba's future is the immediate priority for new contracts at Arsenal. The club remain confident they can tie William Saliba, who has a year remaining on his existing agreement. So, Arsenal are confident. They want to tie him on a long contract that is that is William Saliba and now I really understand why Arsenal are really going in for this it's really bad for them to not want to give William Saliba the amount of money he deserves last time when I came out and said that giving William Saliba 120,000 pounds a week was disrespectful I had a fan come into the comment section attacking me all having a go at me but let me address you do you think it's realistic for Gabriel Magales to be earning more than William Saliba? It's not. Do you think it's realistic Gabriel Martinelli to be earning more than William Saliba? Reasons that are being given are Saliba's just had his debut season at Arsenal and has gone ahead to really hit the ground running and has fired all cylinders. Right. To my understanding, Martinelli has been at Arsenal and he has been getting flashes. That's it. From 2020, 2020-2021 uh, season, uh, even the season of 2021-2022, he never really had lots of minutes to play. That's it. But his full season that has gone that has gone ahead to show us his full potential is this one. They've gone ahead to offer him a contract of 189,000 pounds a week. You know, now, if Martinelli has just gotten his debut season, sorry, his first good performing season at Arsenal, 
and he has been offered that amount of money. Why doesn't Saliba get worth that amount of money of Martinelli all 200,000 pounds a week? When I call it disrespect, it's really right. It's in the same aspect that William Saliba is seeing it in because Arsenal have gone ahead to offer Bokayo Saka 290,000 pounds a week and they're offering him 100 and 60 million pounds less than the amount of money Bukayo Saka is earning. If I'm Saliba, left with one year on my contract, I have to make Arsenal to dance to my tunes. And trust me, Arsenal is not going to sell William Saliba. They are going to sign him on the contract on a new contract and they are going to dance to William Saliba's tunes. 200,000 pounds plus should be the salary given to this boy. Because Arsenal is going to make a huge clear out of players. Pablo Mari is leaving Arsenal. He has been earning close to, is it 60,000 pounds a week? That is Pablo Mari. Then Rob Holding is also leaving, I think earns like 40,000 pounds a week. That is 100,000 pounds a week saved per week. Then um, Xhaka is leaving. I think he's earning close to 100 plus, you know, meaning that those three players leaving, Arsenal is saving close to 200,000 pounds a week, you know, in terms of salary. Now, Saliba is earning, is it 40,000 pounds a week at Arsenal? Now, why doesn't Arsenal get 200,000 pounds a week and offer it William Saliba? You know, those are things Arsenal should be doing because you can't lose William Saliba. And you fans of Arsenal who are saying that Saliba should leave, then you don't want your club to be an elite club. What makes a club elite is it keeping its best players. During the era of Arsene Wenger, every season Arsenal had to sell its best player to raise money to pay debt for the stadium. You know, this time round, the debt was all covered for the stadium. Cronkies are in the mix. They've gone ahead to start spending big. And no reason Arsenal should give for not being able to pay William Saliba the amount of money he wants because he deserves it. Trust me, he deserves it. And Arsenal are really confident they're going to tie him onto a longer contract. And I think that's going to happen for one reason. Arsenal don't want to lose the player. If they are to sell him right now, they're going to sell him on a cheap, like 40, 50 million pounds. But if at all you dance to the tunes of William Saliba and you offer him the contract that he wants, even if he, even if he wants 300,000 pounds a week and you give it to William Saliba, that means if you feel like the wage burden is really so much onto your shoulders, you can sell him off at like 100 million pounds. Teams are willing to spend huge on William Saliba because he's the next big thing. Vadio, one of the players that are really put into his ilk, are being valued the same amount of money. And I think Vadio is playing in the Bundesliga. This player is playing into the Premier League. So he can go for 100 million pounds. And I really believe... That will be great for Arsenal to tie him on a new contract. But Arsenal are confident on tying Boca sorry, William Saliba on a new contract. Then, another game has been confirmed. As we confirmed to you that Arsenal are really going to go ahead and really go to Germany in the Adidas side to do the needful and obviously pay a visit to the Adidas facility train there. Again, they've gone ahead to confirm that Arsenal will have to play a Bundesliga to side on as FC Nuremberg at Max Malok Stadium on Thursday, 13th July, as part of the preseason training camp at Adidas headquarters in Germany. This has been reported via asnobars.com. Now, it's not the first time Asna are going to go and play Nuremberg. Even last season, they went and played Nuremberg and uh, they beat Nuremberg by five goals to two. That's it. That's how Arsenal really came in through and obviously did the needful. And in the first half, it was was five to right. Jesus scored two, scored a brace. El Nini was on the score sheet. Mm, Nketiah also scored. So that's what really happened. But I think Arsenal see it as a chance of a blessing that they got from Germany because that was the first official preseason friendly they played in Germany and see the results they're gonna hate to harvest this 
season they've gone ahead to rip big because of maybe the chances they got in Germany. So they are going to play there. Then after that, they'll fly to America to play the likes of Man United, Borussia Dortmund, Barcelona, and so on and so forth. So guys, thank you very much for watching through. Smash the like button, comment, and share. And tell me your thoughts about Declan Rice clearing air on his anticipated Arsenal move. Then, William Saliba. Are you confident like Arsenal that they're going to tie him on a longer contract? And what do you make of the game that Arsenal are going to play down in Nuremberg at the facility? of adidas in germany i cover you all in the precious blood of jesus christ may the lord god protect you my muslim viewers and subscribers please may allah see you through everything you are going through i sign out for now see you letters rock and david remains my name don't forget to subscribe